YouTube, YouTube, what's up, YouTube? It's Rick Hustle again. We're back. This is Chasing Profits. Press the bell icon on the YouTube and never miss another update. Today we got a 2010 Toyota Corolla. Looks like we're gonna need to fix the alternator on it. Now this is one of my rentals, so you guys can see there. We got the battery light on right there. That's gonna be an indicator either your battery is starting to go or your alternator. More than likely your alternator. So this will work for any 20, 2008, 2012 Toyota Corolla, maybe even more years. So what you're gonna need to do right here, you're gonna need to get your tester, make sure it's on 20 volt DC. That's direct current. Go ahead and put one of your needles right here for your positive. I'm trying to get it so I can hold the camera at the same time. Put your negative. And you see that 11.82 that's no good this needs to be at least 12 to 13 on the battery so basically you take it over here leave your ground in where it goes put your ground in there and take it over to the alternator which is the output we got 11.76 that's no good at the battery, 11.86. At the alternator, 11.76. So that means this alternator is not putting out what it should be. This should be between 13 and 14 volts. So we're gonna take that alternator out today and we're gonna replace it, get this battery charging the way it's supposed to be charged. Let's go. Okay guys, this is our alternator. I actually ordered this from Amazon. The store is A-S-T-O-U. All right, guys, so here is the website here. You can see it's on Amazon, A-S-T-O-U. They have all kinds of different types of alternators and great reviews on every single one. That's why I went with them. Really good company. Uh, they sent it out for me. I'm doing this video for them to show them their product, how it's boxed and everything. This is how I got it. Uh, straight from the manufacturer. It took about three days. And uh, pull it out here. So here it is right here. I'm gonna set it down on the ground. Be very careful with these things, man. You guys don't wanna be breaking all these things, dropping them and all that. But real nice condition, real clean looking. It's brand new and there's a warranty on it. So we're gonna install this and big shout out to ASTOU on Amazon for sending me this. And we'll go ahead and we'll install this puppy and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna DC your battery. You don't want any current going back to the alternator or you don't also don't want any current that's coming and could, uh, you know, could basically backfeed on you. So we're gonna get our channel locks. It's a number 10. I just am impatient today. Don't wanna find my number 10 wrench. But it's a number 10. Take off your negative and also take off your positive. Right, once these are, are done that's that take off your top lid cover here so you get more access first thing you're gonna want to do is disconnect this there's two there's two little it's a little um, nodule right here on the side it's a button you press and it releases it off the side so down here you're just gonna press that down and pull out and right here you're gonna take this bolt off and then uh, we'll get into uh, this bolt here, so we're gonna take this bolt and this bolt off and then we'll get into the tensioner and all the other supports that are holding this alternator on All right screwdriver Basically you just gotta Get it in there Leverage it out Looks like we got enough space in there now to get this on this number 10 
got it now. All right. Let's put this on there. <clears throat> All right, it's loosened. It's gonna be your ground, guys, for the alternator. Got that out. All right, guys. Number 14 wrench down there. Yeah. And we're gonna need a breaker bar now. All right, guys, got our breaker bar here. It's just a steel pipe. This is used for leverage. And that has done its job. So we are going to continue to loosen this bolt here. Let's see if it's. Oh, not yet. Oh. All right, guys, so we'll be back. I gotta use two hands here. We're gonna get that bolt out. All right, guys, after you get that bolt down there, you can see it is sticking out. It's a little like uh, brownish, like copper looking deal. You're gonna go up here to this top screw, loosen this one all the way out. This is a number 12, the bottom is a number 14. You're gonna take this one all the way out. So you can release the tension off of your belt. Thought it would. Da, 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 da. We are going to release the pressure off of this because this is a tensioner. It's pulling pressure back on that, which is pulling my um, screw this way, which is forcing it to be cockeyed in there. If I push in this at the same time, which is very difficult using one hand with the camera. Um, So that released that. Now, once you take this off, it's gonna allow you to freely move that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this in a safe spot so we don't lose it. This is gonna allow this to freely move so you can get that off. So it is a number 12. We're gonna put it right there. You know, watch. You'll be able to slide this thing and pull out this alternator. I think it's been changing a long time. Wow. All right, see how that just dropped there? That alternator, you can just put the belt to the side. And uh, you need to get this bolt out now. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that with two hands again. Um, now the alternator, you can just put the belt to the side. And uh, 
you need to get this bolt out now so we're gonna go ahead and work on that with two hands again um, actually one hand will do it now all right yeah that's a long bolt and now we're just gonna simply pull this out might have to get a uh, pry bar in there to just like free it up a little bit but all the bolts are out shove that little we're gonna shove that screw in there oh gosh okay okay hang on boo boo okay we'll put our uh... come on man you've been holding it for like two seconds bro all right so that's that's snug all right, so then we're going to put this in here like this. Now it turned off. No, no, it's fine. It's still working. It's still running. It's still running. All right. All right, so we're going to put this one in first, folks. Right, guys, and then we're gonna put this one in. Pull back the tension a little bit. Now, what happened here? What the heck happened here, folks? I have no clue what happened here. We're gonna have to back this screw out a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's what happened. Make sure it's lined up. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll tighten that up in a minute. Another five, uh, probably two minutes. What? It's already three. Oh my God. Everybody on YouTube, do you hear this? Do you hear this guy? He's been holding a camera that weighs less than a pound for like two minutes already and he's already complaining. No, it's three. I want you guys to put in the comments below what you think of this six-year-old guy over here. His name's Hunter. See, and he didn't even tell me I was doing something wrong. So I gotta back this thing out here. This tensioner, guys, needs to go behind this screw as well. I told him we only have like two more minutes of filming so he can hold it and he can it's go only back. only one more minute. But he can go back inside and what's the new thing you're playing now? Not telling him. You're not gonna tell him? Fine, I'm gonna tell them, VR. VR, VR headsets? Mm -hmm. He likes the Oculus, something new. I don't know, these kids today, man. No, you know the first game that we played? It was actually Star Wars. I'll hold up so I can see what they're doing. I'm doing, dude. Come on. Down here. Yeah, oh, you gotta get right there. Alright, I've been a minute. Hey, hold on, man. You can tighten down the tension at the same time. Do you relax? How much minutes left? Probably like one more minute. Finally. Oh, 76. How old are you turning this year? Mommy. Watch what you're doing. Right there. Hold it right there, dude. I'm turning mommy. Yeah, people on YouTube don't hear that. I'm turning mommy. Alright, well, he's turning five. Yeah. Hold it right there, honey. Come on, man. Watch what you're doing. 
We're not done yet, folks. So hold on, you gonna stay. No. One more thing to do. One more time. Six eight. All right, done. Come on, man. Tell me, man. You better hold that camera for your dad. That's how. That's how. That's how the bill gets paid. That's how the food on the table gets made. You okay? tell You better tell him. All right, tensioner is tight. Everything looked good. And my friend Hunter can go ahead and go back to VR. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Oh, actually, I can play VR. All right, guys. So we got our. Actually, I can play VR. Oh God. That's the that's the the future right there, folks. Future. All right. So that's on. All we gotta do is just find our bolt that we lost like 20 minutes ago. Can't find it. All right, I'm gonna find that bolt, put our wires in, and we'll be we'll be done. We can go ahead and throw this in right now. Just a little snap that in right there. We can put our main battery feed right here. Don't forget to tighten down this bolt. You gotta do that. We'll tighten down that bolt, get that other bolt for the lower negative cable, and then we'll be done. All right, guys, we got our negative bolt in, power wire on, everything's bolted in with the alternator. We reconnected our power and our ground. We'll go ahead and turn on the car now, test this out. Got some belt noise there. It means we got got to play with the tension. Two thousand years later. All right, tensioner has been adjusted. Now all we got to do is test it. Let's see what we got here. Battery lights off inside. Oh, look at that, we got 14 volts now to the battery. Like I said, we want 14 volts coming out of here. Fourteen volts. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.